Over the past month, I've taken upon the task of creating what I believe to be one of the most immersive RPG experiences Minecraft can offer, and I'm going to walk you through exactly how I accomplished this. You see, I've played a lot of fantasy RPG mod packs, and while playing, I often encounter one of the most common issues many players have with mod packs in general. The identity of the mod pack often gets lost in the sheer amount of mods, which leads to a less immersive user experience. After way too much research on this topic, I've discovered the three quintessential components that when combined create the ideal RPG experience. These are an engaging combat system, epic world building, and most importantly, challenging progression. This video will tackle each one of these components and show exactly how to create the greatest Minecraft RPG. And before we start, let me add, the completed mod pack is on version 1.18.2 and everything you need will be in the description. While you're down there, consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. Now let's get into the first component, the combat system. Arguably the most important mod on this list and the most popular is the Epic Fight mod. With almost 8 million downloads, Epic Fight is a staple choice for overhauling the Minecraft combat system. The Souls-like attacks and combos make the game a bit more difficult and provide a whole new feel to fighting enemies. This mod also adds a variety of new weapons to the game. These weapons are designed super well, but we'll be adding much more later in the video. With the R key, we can swap from the default building and mining mode to our combat mode. Players can attack in default mode, but it'll do far less damage to enemies this way. This mod is playable in first person, but the third person perspective is where this mod excels. While we're here, we can install the better third person mod, which basically makes it to where you can look around while moving your character, similar to most RPG games. The camera can also rotate 360 degrees around your character and allows for some epic angles to enjoy your journey even more. To add even more to our character view, we can add shoulder surf. With this installed, we can position our camera as close or as far away from our character as we would like. Not only this, but now we can move our camera left or right and choose exactly where we want our character to be positioned. But here's where we run into an issue. The Epic Fight mod is generally not a fan of any mod that changes the normal camera. But I seem to have found a fix for this in the form of one of the best mods I've ever discovered. Weapons of Miracles, formerly known as Weapons of Minecraft, is one of the most insane weapon mods out there. And it just so happens that it works perfectly with shoulder surfing. I've personally been watching the development of this mod for a long time now, and let me say, it was well worth the wait. This is a mod designed to be an addition to the Epic Fight mod, and includes an arsenal of new weapons. The animations are perfect, and are unique for each weapon. Every weapon has different attacks for basic, jumping, sprinting, and more. If you could only download one mod off this list, this would be my pick. I literally spent hours just playing this mod. But after I got my fill, I added RPG HUD. With this mod, we can tweak the entire UI to look exactly how we would like. RPG HUD also includes a few new useful HUD elements, such as a compass at the top of your screen or stats of equipped items on the side. The amount of options for the UI is insane, but I really like the hotbar HUD, and we'll be using it throughout this video. This mod does have health indicators for other entities, but I prefer the damage indicators added by the Toro Health mod. This mod adds a health bar for the entity the player is looking at in the top left corner of the screen. Another useful addition is sophisticated backpacks, which adds backpacks to the game. They can be modified using different upgrades. On top of being useful for our lengthy adventures, the backpacks look the part for our pack. And last but not least in this category would be the tool belt mod, which adds a new item, the tool belt. This can be equipped to add a quick access radial menu to store and swap tools and weapons. This belt can be upgraded to add more weapon slots, but the best part is the way certain weapons look when attached to the belt. Don't we look cool? So now our game was starting to feel a bit more like an RPG, but it was lacking the second key component, world building. The largest mod in this category would have to be Terralift. This new world gen overhaul mod has some of the most epic new biomes and redesigns to some of the original biomes. With over 100 new terrains, there will always be something new to discover in our world. This mod also completely redesigns villages and makes them much larger and more interesting. While we're in a village, we might notice the villager names mod in action. This mod assigns villagers random names and also includes their profession in the trading screen. This is a small mod, but it adds a touch more life to our epic world. To add even more life, we can add the Fresh Animations resource pack. 
This gives a total rework on the animations of mobs, and also makes enemies look more intimidating. On top of this, we'll install the Dynamic Trees mod, which makes trees look and act more realistic. Combine this mod with better foliage and falling leaves, and we've got ourselves some beautiful trees for our already amazing terrain. And it's at this point that you might realize this pack is not the most easy to run. To counter this slightly, I've added the Distant Horizons mod. With this mod, we can see a less detailed version of blocks further away. This means we can turn down our render distance and still see increased distances around us. For example, I'm only rendering 8 chunks, but look how far I can see. And over that way, you might see a structure from our next mod, The Dungeons Arise. The huge structures included in this mod provide a new challenge to us adventurers. These are some of the largest pre-generated structures added by any mod, and definitely take the cake for some of the best dungeons. And you might have noticed our next mod, Loot Beams, that adds customizable beams of light based on the rarity of an item. Yeah, that's about it. The Legendary Tooltips mod is another small mod that changes the look of items in your inventory. The stylized borders are a simple touch, but add a lot to the immersion of the pack. A few more small mods include the RPG Z mod, which leaves mob bodies on the ground and instead makes you manually loot them, as well as Corpse, which leaves a corpse behind when you die for you to retrieve all of your items. This is customizable, so you can choose for this corpse to never despawn, which I would recommend, because the additions we'll add later will likely make you understand why. And lastly in the world building section, we'll install basically every mod made by Young Nick Young with the prefix better. This includes better dungeons, better temples, mine shafts, ocean monuments, strongholds, nether fortresses, and the islands. All of these mods combined give a nice rework to all the vanilla structures and bring them up to par with the rest of the mod pack. And now, by far the most important component of our RPG, progression. Starting with an easy one, Advancement Plaques adds weight to your achievements through the game by displaying a plaque of your achievement along with a successful sound effect. Another important one is Waystones, which is one of the most popular mods for fast travel. When one of these spires is placed, it creates a place you can teleport to at the cost of experience. Since the new movement and combat is a staple of this pack, I thought instead of other forms of transportation, Waystones would be perfect. Now I saved our next mod until now because it was far too powerful to be featured before world generation. This mod would be Mahosukai. If you look up any magic mods list, this mod usually finds its way to the top, and with good reason. The hugely epic animations and the enormously powerful abilities added by this mod make it one of the best magic mods to play. And you might think these spells are too strong, but they are necessary for the challenges that lie ahead. First, we'll add the Dungeons Mobs mod that adds lots of the mobs from the Minecraft Dungeons game. With these mobs spawning around your world, the game gets quite a bit more difficult. But that's nothing compared to the new bosses from Hellbender's Cataclysm. This is hands down the best boss mod for Minecraft. The new bosses each spawn in the different dimensions and each pose a challenge. But to fully complete this mod pack, I decided to stay true to Minecraft and make the final boss the Ender Dragon, but using End Remastered. With this mod installed, normal Eyes of Ender wouldn't do us any good, because now the end portal requires 12 of the unique eyes found around the world. Remember the Young's mods that improve vanilla structures? Now an eye spawns randomly in each of these structures, as well as a few eyes that are craftable. Place all these eyes in the portal to reach the final boss, with a whole overhauled spawning sequence and fight. If victorious in our battle, we can return home and seek out adventure on our own terms as victors of the greatest RPG Minecraft.